Hi, do you need to measure forces but aren't sure which technology is best for your needs? You've probably narrowed down your options to strain gauge and piezoelectric sensors since these are the most common choices. Let me explain you some of the impressive advantages of piezoelectric sensors since Kistler is the piezoelectric pioneer. But don't get me wrong, strain gauges have their place too. We use them in our rotating torque sensors, for example. Piezoelectric sensors use crystals as their sensing elements, which produce a charge signal proportional to the applied load. These crystal elements are exceptionally stiff, which leads us to the first advantage. High stiffness means high natural frequency. Unlike strain gauges, which require a certain amount of deformation to sense anything, piezoelectric sensors can measure virtually deformation-free. This makes them perfect for measuring dynamic signals, like impact tests or drop tests, where high natural frequencies are crucial. One of the most impressive characteristics of piezoelectric sensors is their extremely wide measuring range. Typically, sensors are used within 30 to 100% of their nominal range. However, with piezoelectric sensors and the right external so-called charge amplifier, you can achieve precise measurements over up to six decades. Sensitivity, threshold and resolution remain independent of the measuring range. This means you can use even the biggest piezoelectric sensor for very small force measurements and you achieve the same precise results like with a much smaller device. To cover the same wide range, you'd need several different strain gauge sensors. When we speak about aircraft landing gear tests, for instance, you can basically use the same piezoelectric equipment for an ultralight aircraft or a big and heavy cargo airplane. Additionally, piezoelectric sensors can detect tiny signals on top of a high static load. For example, when an athlete jumps onto a piezoelectric biomechanics force plate, the force can be precisely measured. But when the person stands still, you can reset the measurement, switch the amplifier to a highly sensitive range, and even detect the person's heartbeat, thanks to the small dynamic forces caused by the pulsed vertical blood flow. Piezoelectric force sensors can also tolerate overload situations very well. 20% overload, or in some cases even 50% for a short time, is possible. They're basically also free of fatigue. Some sensors we still get back for calibration after more than 30 years in use. The operating temperature is also very wide. It's also impressive how small piezoelectric sensors can be built. Especially multi-component force sensors are really compact compared to strain gauge alternatives. Of course, nothing in life comes for free, so also piezoelectric force sensors have some limitations. Unlike strain gauge sensors, they can't measure absolutely static signals. Yet, longer measurements are possible. For purely dynamic signals, there's of course no time limit at all. In terms of absolute accuracy, strain gauge measuring chains are usually a bit better. You should also keep an eye on factors like moving sensor cables and temperature fluctuations during measurements when using piezoelectric sensors. But usually there's a way to mitigate these factors. For a more detailed technology comparison, you can check out our force catalog available on kistler.com. Whether you intend to measure tiny forces and moments like those from reaction wheels used in small satellites, or deal with significant forces while testing large and heavy satellites, our experienced sales engineers out there are happy to assist you. See you!